He said, Brakati Yahoa, Brakati O'Shea, Brakati Yahoa, Brakati O'Shea, Brakati Yahoa, Brakati O'Shea. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great man's stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four corners of the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Come on, next lesson to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 in one third men, women, and children, confusion of faith, Israelites who are used to Okan Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. Right on the Mosai, you are the Israelite. There's your biblical nationality. You are the sons of Israel, which means he prince of the power. Yasharal in the Hebrew. Right? You are the you are God's chosen people. And why you're in this position that you're in, why everything everything seems wrong and bad happening to you is because the curses that the Mosai put upon us of being disobedient, for turning away from his heritage and walking in the way of the heathen, following at least other heathen custom. Right? I was reasoning with a bridge and I grew up with. People passed away Friday from, from a, from a drive-by shooting. So me he was reasoning about for half an hour. He was reasoning. You know, he was telling me what went down. And I was telling you, you know, I know it's a sad thing. When I hear it, it, it kind of shake, shake me a little. But, you know, understanding is what balanced me. Balance me. You know, and I just tell you, hey, you know, you're burning, you're burning in a better place right now. You know, it's just his flesh died, but his spirit, his spirit back in the spiritual realm. You know, he don't, and he, he don't want to come back to this place because this place is hell. You know, this, 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 this place that we live in is hell. You know, and under the, under the heaven is a place of judgment. You know, he was listening. He said, "Yeah, it don't make sense." You know, because well, right now, right now, in he, he, he in the house of mourning. You understand the scripture say. It's better to be in the house of mourning than in the house of feasting. You know, you lose a brother, a close brother, which is one of his small brother. You understand? So he 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 listened and he, and he said, "Yeah, it makes sense." And that's what inspired me to do this video to show that these people don't understand a lot of things out there. These people don't understand, right? It's it's not wicked to cry for a loved one that passed away. It's not wicked. You're more free because you know you're gonna miss the person. You're not gonna see the person again, but it. You know, you need to get the understanding. There, there's not, there's not the end of the individual. You understand? But you just not gonna see him in this life. You understand? But the scripture give you the understanding what what happened after the flesh die. You understand? So we can go into it. But what what I wanna read? Right is um is Ecclesiastes seven because the brother the brother right now you know, we grew up a long way. You know. Right now in the house of mourning, right? This is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse two. It is better to be, it is better to go to the house of mourning than than to go to the house of feasting. The house of feasting is party and an out joyly spirit, right? For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to heart. So the things you can tell a man now in the kind of the kind of mindset right now, you know. In a in the house of morning, he can listen. You understand? He can be in a quiet moment and he can listen. You understand? Alright, so like I said, there's a brethren I know from back in the world. You know, we come a long way. You understand? But these wacky taki ask Christian is read Hebrews 9 and 27 and think you know it's only once he has lived. But they don't understand the scriptures because this this was talking about the flesh, because the spirit don't die. Alright? It it tell it is a spirit and is a body. The body can't live without the spirit. It tell it tell in James, right? It tell it tell that in James, right? It's a spirit and a body, right? So he just giving the um. This is Hebrews chapter nine, for twenty seven, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So it appointed one for your flesh to die. So after you die is the judgment. So how a dead man, how a dead, how a dead individual, gonna face a gonna face face judgment? You see these 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 wacky tacky ass Christians they retarded when it comes to the scriptures. You gotta be taught. You just can't pick up this book and read it. Just you gotta be taught, right? So your flesh is die once, and after 
after that the judgment so where your spirit is go right let me get that where your spirit is go all right this is ecclesiastes all right this is ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 then shall the dust return to the earth what's the dust we get next precept all right precept upon precept line upon line all right this is ecclesiasticus chapter 17 verse 1 he said the lord yahweh yahweh is the name of the heavenly father who the world ignorant our god yahweh is his, is his true hebrew name yahweh me he, he is he exists right the lord yahweh right the lord yahweh created man of the earth so your body your this 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 flesh is is a terrestrial is a terrestrial which were which were created from the from the mineral from the mineral of the earth so when this flesh died go back to the earth the spirit go up so the lord yahweh created created man of the earth and turned him into it again right that's when the flesh died the flesh go back to the earth ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 then shall the dust return to the earth which is the body as it as it was and the spirit shall return unto the most i will give it so the spirit go up right you understand the spirit go up right now like these christians tell you they're going to hell when you die because you're not a christian these christians are delusional right so your spirit you, 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 you're, you're righteous or you're wicked your spirit go up this it doesn't matter you're wicked or you're righteous your spirit go up right the spirit go up the spirit of a beast go down ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 5 he said um, as thou know not what is the way of the spirit nor the nor the bones no salaki now this one salaki um right to tell you that the beast the beast go down on the spirit the spirit um the spirit of man go up right as we just read in um ecclesiastes day you understand right so these christians don't understand right they, they don't understand so your, your your flesh is die once right but your spirit live on right all right so let me get this other precept all right this is ecclesiastes chapter 3 for some let me start from verse 21 right it says uh, let me start from verse 20 it says all go unto one place all are of the dust and return to the dust again who know the spirit of man that goeth upward and the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth so the spirit of the beast is go down and the spirit of man is go up right so when the flesh die your spirit is go back to the heavenly father right and when you go back to the heavenly father it's gonna appear before the judge right and yahweh shai who the one regard jesus yeah this is second corinthian so the bible is the true source you now if you if if and, and if you got kind of evil to say up towards uh, about the bible let me you 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 in a deep sleep you understand you have no no understanding you are reprobate you understand bible is the true source right this is um second corinthian chapter 5 verse 10 for we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach. So they got Christ there. The word Christ in, in, in Greek is Christos, which means anointed. Right? And in Hebrew is, is a Mashiach, which means anointed. So this is Yahweh Shai. Right? He said, this is um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he had done whether it be good or bad so we always return to the judgment seat can when you die is, when you die is judgment so when your spirit go back up to the heavenly father you face the judgment seat the things that you do whether it's good or bad you get judged for it then you just come back to face to, to live out your judgment right but let me touch on this with the spirit is big i end up telling them i say yo your brother's an angel right now in the spiritual realm in his angel body right all right so when the spirit go back up and the spirit is be at rest 
All right, this be at rest. So let me get this one in Mark. All right. Let me get this one in Mark. This is Mark. And this was this was um this was the question that asked Yahweh about the law when a brother die and having no seed, his brother could take his wife and bring up seed for him. But this this man die and he and the other six brother take take his wife and they die with no seed and the woman die after. So they was asking Yahweh Shai in the resurrection, the resurrection mean when the spirit Go back up to the heavenly Father, as we just read in Ecclesiastes chapter seven, chapter Salaki chapter twelve verse seven. They just return to the earth, and the spirit go back up to the Most High who give it. So they was asking Yahweh Shai, who do you want to call Jesus in the resurrection? Who wife she gonna be? Because in the heavenly realms, they don't have no sex going on, right? They don't have no sex going on. They, the, the celestial, the celestial body, they glory so just give praises to the Most High and, and do the bidding of the Most High. But the terrestrial body, they glory is sex, right? So that's different, right? So this is uh, Mark chapter 12. I'm going to go straight to the point, right? Mark chapter 12, verse um, 23. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, may the spirit go back up to the, go back up to the Mosai, Yahweh, whose wife shall she be of them? For, for the seven had her to wife. Right, so Yahweh, so the oxen Yahweh Shai, so in the resurrection, when they go back to the spiritual realm, who where is she gonna be? Right, verse 24. And Yahweh Shai answering and said unto them, Do he do he not therefore err because he know not the scriptures, neither the power of Yahweh? For when they shall rise from the dead, mean when the spirit go back up to the heavenly father, because the flesh is die, the flesh is was dead. Right, right. He said they need a marry, nor given into marriage, and this was sex. Marriage is sex. That's how a man and woman is joined together. That's how a man and woman is come together and be one through sex. Right? You understand? He said, but are as angel which are in heaven, and that's why I explained to your brother. Say your brother right now, he's an angel in heaven, he at rest, and he don't want to come back to this place. So when the spirit go back up, it's be an it's be an angel. You understand? You so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. You understand? You are the chosen people. So, hey, you're righteous, you're wicked. Our spirit go back up to the Heavenly Father. Our spirits belong to the Heavenly Father. You understand? Job, Job even break it down too. To show you what's, what's happening in the spiritual realm. Yes, be at rest. Right? Let me get the Job. Right? Right? Job chapter 3. There's a, there's a beautiful chapter, you know. You are you know, you got younger brothers like myself, you know. You got time to read Job chapter 3. Job, Job break down how, how it is being the spiritual realm. Right? You understand? Um, right, so let me just go to the, um, let me just go, um, you can read the whole, the whole Job chapter 3. But I'll just go to the, let's go to the, the, to the point. Right? Um, Um, let me read from verse 10. This is Job chapter 3, verse 10. He said, Because it shut not up the door of my mother's womb, nor hide nor hide sorrow from my eyes, because Job was going through a, a, a time. The most high, the most high, the most high plague, and the most high was trying him to show how faithful is Job. So Job, Job, Job is saying, Why why the door of his mother's womb won't shut up? So he could have died and went back to the spiritual realm to be at rest, right? Verse 11, why die I not from the womb? Why did not, why did not I, why did I not give up the ghost, which is the spirit, when I came out of the belly? Why did the, why did the knee prevent me? Or why, he said, why did the knee prevent me? Or why, why the breast that I should suck? For now should I have been laid still and been quiet. This is in the spiritual realm. I should have slept, then had I been at rest. And this is what the brother was telling me. So you see, brother in the body bag, your brother look like he is resting. Can he at rest? Hey, he has no more sorrow and worries to think about. He's in a better place. Because the, the, the judgment about to come in this place. You understand? Famine, economy, collapse, martial law. The things about to come. You understand this place? So he's in a better place than we right now. You understand? Right? 
And this was this was Joe breaking down. He'd be at rest. Verse 14. He said with he said with king and counselor of the earth which built desolate places for themselves, or with prince that that had gold who filled the their, who filled their house with silver, or as an hidden untimely birth, I had not been as infant which never saw light. You understand? He said, There the wicked cease from troubling. So the wicked is the so called white man. Even he always be up in the spiritual realm. And he can't trouble nobody up there. You understand? Right? He said, There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. Who's the weary? You so called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. And you the one who's slaving every day because we're. We break the covenant of the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. We turn away from our power to worship the heathen gods. Call ourselves Christians. Call ourselves Muslim. Call ourselves Rastafarian. Call ourselves Black. You know, following the way the heathen. We are the chain of Israel, right? Verse eighteen. He said, "They the prisoner rest together. Who's the prisoner? You so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. You understand, right? He said, "They the prisoners rest together." They hear not the voice of the oppressor, right? The oppressor is there too. And we're not going to hear his voice because he is he, 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 he in the spiritual realm too. And it's perfect art in the spiritual realm, right? Verse 19, the small and the great are there, being in the spiritual realm. And the servant is free from his master. And this Job break down how it is being in the spiritual realm. You understand? So your flesh is die, your spirit live on. You understand? Your flesh is die, your spirit, your spirit live on. Right, so the Mosai is who, the Mosai is who is 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 is, 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 is put is put you to death. The Mosai is who is being your life. Right, let me read this. Um, Ecclesiastes, right. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter forty one, um, verse um, let me read from verse, let me read verse three. Go straight to the point. Ecclesiastic Ecclesiasticus chapter forty one verse three. It says, "Fear not the sentence of death." Remember them that have been before thee and and that come after. For this is the sentence of the of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai over all flesh. So the sentence this is the sentence of the heavenly father over all flesh. Because the most is who skill and the most is who make alive. We need to understand these things. And we need to apply these things why we guys why we gotta be circumspect how we walk. And try to walk in the ordinance of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you Israelites, you soak and Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Second uh, first Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord Yahweh kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and he bring it up. You understand? So the Mosai is who do that. Alright, so let me go in to show that hey, when you die, you just come back. Right? You just come back in a new body, which is reincarnation, re me back incarnation mean embodiment right mean back in the body right so hey the bible is a true source you know if you don't want to if you believe it i don't believe it not it is it is it is the true source right you understand so let me let me go to this in um in psalms right because the most side 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 finish all his work on the sixth day so the Mosai don't go and create a new spirit every time a baby born. Because the Mosai finishes work on the sixth day and rest on the seventh day. Right? Let me get that too. Because you people think every time a baby born is a new spirit created. No, it's an it's a old spirit coming back in a new body. You people need to understand that. Right? This is um, Genesis chapter... Um, um, Genesis chapter 2 verse um, 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day the powers ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. You understand? That's why the seven days is Sabbath day, the day of rest. So the Mosai ended all his work and rested. So the most I don't be creating a new spirit every time a baby born. No. If the spirit will die and went up, the spirit just come back. Right? So we go to it now. This is Psalms 104. Right? Psalms 104, verse 29. Thou 
thou hidest thy face, the, if the most I hide his, hide his face, thou hidest thy face, they are they are trouble, thou takest away their bread, they die. So the most I take away bread by what gunshot or some kind of disease or disease cancer, you know, some kind of sickness, you die by car accident, you know, you die by plane accident, you understand? You die by stabbing, that's all the most I take away bread. Right? And return to the dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. So the most I send back the spirit. Yes, come back in every three or four generations, yes, come back. So the most I send back the spirit in a new body. Right? You understand? The most I send back the spirit. Right? So you, you live again. Right? You just live again. Let me get this um, in Job. Right? The most I will send back the spirit. Right? Let me get this. Um, let me get this in uh, this reincarnation. We go into that, right? So the Mosai is who sent back the spirit, right? This is Job, right? Yeah, this is Job, Job chapter 14, verse 14. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait. Till my change come, you understand. So hey, yes, yes, live again. After it, after three and four generations, yes, come back, right? Yes, live again, right? Yes, come back. Yes, come back in a new in a new body, right? And you don't you don't you don't remember the things that you did in your past life. We got the most I black it from you. We can go through. We can go. We can go and bring the piece up to prove that too, right? This is um. This is Second Ezra chapter fourteen verse thirty five. For after death shall the judgment come. Yeah, when this when this flesh die, your spirit go back to the heavenly Father. You get judged for the things that you did. If it's good or evil, you get judged for them. Right? It said, For after death shall the judgment come. When we shall live again, you live again. We just read the Psalms. The Most High send back the spirit and renew the face of the earth. Right? So like your spirit come back. See, it's lived more than once. Right? For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the name of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So you live again when you come back. But you don't know because what the most I the most I blocked from you. So you can't you don't some people get deja vu. Like hey, I was here before, you know. A lot of people get deja vu. You understand? But the scripture say the most I the most I block it from you, so you don't remember, right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that had been was the thing that had been. Let me get a piece up to see what the thing, right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 10. That which had been is named already, and it is known that it was man. You understand? So the thing is man, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be, and and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So a baby born right now, the baby in you, because the spirit in the baby was here before, it just come back in a new body, right? And this we go into the word reincarnation, right? It's um let me go, let me go into the word re, re right? This is this is the um online etymology means the study the study of words right it's a reincarnation 1829 right fuck of repeat incarnation from re me back right re back again me re is back incarnation again right meaning the new embodiment you come back in a new body you understand there's the meaning of the word right reincarnation Right, we go into the word rebirth, right? You go into the word rebirth from 1812, reincarnation, 1833, re is a renewal, life, or or activity of rebirth. You understand the, the most I send back your your spirit in a, in a in a new body. Right? You understand? So you could so you could you could face your judgment that was read out to you when you was in the spiritual realm. Some people can die when they when they're five years old. They might get hit by a car, and they might fall through a window, fall off a cliff, something. 
there's your judgment was given to you in the heaven in the when it was in the spiritual realm some gonna die by gunshot car accident some gonna get poisoned some gonna get stabbed some gonna get heart attack there's a judgment that the most i give whatever age the most i want you most i say and then i'm to you some people come blind some people come handicapped some people come retarded you understand they become vagrants on the streets there's a judgment to, there's a judgment to yahweh hashem yahweh shai it tell you that now let me get as i mentioned let me get that all right this is um exodus all right exodus chapter four all right this is exodus chapter four verse ten he said and moses said unto the lord yahweh hashem yahweh shai oh my lord i i am not eloquent neither be neither here here heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant but i am slow of speech and of a slow tongue and the lord yahweh said unto him who had made man's mouth or who make it the dumb or the deaf or 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 the seeing or the blind have not i the lord yahweh by hashem so this is the most high this is the most high judgment on a man you might see a man born blind because we did in the past life, there's the judgment that was read out to him. When he appeared before the judgment seat of Amashiach, there was the judgment that read out to him. You're going to come back in the next life and you're going to be blind. You're going to be deaf. You're going to be handicapped. You're going to be a vagrant. You understand? You're going to die by accident. You're going to die by heart attack. You're going to die by AIDS. You understand? This judgment, right? So back in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 10, he said, And there, he said, Is there anything whereof it may say? It may be said, see, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. So a baby born today, the baby was the baby, the baby was here before. The spirit in the baby, not the flesh, the spirit in that baby was here before. Right? Uh, verse 11. He said, There is no remembrance of former things. The most I block in remembrance. So you don't remember the former things. Right? He said, Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come come after you understand so hey that's why the word the word um reincarnation me back in the body again right this is as we see right me back in the body again you understand read me back again incarnation meaning new embodiment this is why job say he shall wait till his change come you understand so hey this is just a quick lesson you know, to edify the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And with that, hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Raka Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule by a great new stone. And a blessed salutation to the Akiyams and the folk on the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.